What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the Apple Card, and if you don't know about the Apple Card at this point, where have you been really? Because it was introduced way back when, I can't think of the actual date, it might have been like March or April, something like that. Um, but it was introduced way back when, and a lot of people were excited about it. A lot of people made videos on it in the credit card community. Um, a lot of people just wanted the card in general, just because they were excited about a new Apple product. Um, so I'll get into all of the breakdown and how I feel about it, and then also probably the reason why you clicked on this video, how Apple lied to you. So before I start, I wanted to get into some new giveaway opportunities for you guys. So every week, I wanted to give away two Amazon gift cards every Friday. Um, I know that every thousand subscribers is a long time, so if you are waiting for those gift cards, I'm just going to give you gift cards um, every single week. I'm going to pick two people. Um, all you have to do to be entered in that giveaway is comment down below, comment on every video that I post this week, as many as you can. The more you comment, the better your chances. Also, like as many videos as possible. Um, and be subscribed to my channel. If you do all of those things, you have a great chance of winning the gift cards. And it's gonna be every Friday, so as long as you're subscribed and as long as you stay engaged, um, this is going to benefit you in the long run. So I really wanted to give back to my subscribers. Um, not everything, obviously I have to pay taxes on the revenue that I make, but um, I wanted to give back because my bar was set like down here for how much money I was gonna make and I'm actually making like up in this range. So I'm, I'm really happy with the progress that I've had and it's all because of you guys, um, you guys and gals. Um, so make sure you do all that to be entered in the giveaway so that I can give these gift cards to you and hopefully everybody can stay engaged as well. So um, yeah, look forward to that. So now that I'm done with my whole spiel on the giveaways, uh, let's get into the Apple card. So let's break down the benefits and then we can get into all the extra details that you probably came here for. So what does the Apple Card offer? The card details is it has no bonus. This is something that I'm really upset about because as a person from the credit card community that loves credit cards, that loves bonuses, that loves to apply for credit cards for bonuses, for rewards, for all these other types of things, um, I'm really sad. Um, it, it just makes me upset. Um, they should have offered some sort of bonus because as people love credit cards, they they would get it. But I guess they didn't want to take that route. Um, but whatever. Um, they're Apple. They could do whatever they want, right? Also, they have no annual fee. This is a good thing to have no annual fee, especially on a card that doesn't have a bonus. Um, if they did offer you more rewards, then maybe that would be an option. But um, no annual fee. It's always a good thing. Um, made of titanium. This is something you don't see with a no annual fee card. Um, uh, it weighs a lot more. I can't wait to do an unboxing of it. My friend, I believe he's going to get the card and I should be doing an unboxing of his card um, just because I can't get it. Um, I'm Samsung user and I don't, I don't really know if I wanted to have it because I would never use it. It would just be a card that sits there. So it's made of titanium. It definitely has a great look on it uh, from what I've seen from the pictures because that's all I have seen. It looks like a good card. It's basically the exact opposite of the black card, but without being at that prestige level of the black card. Um, it's just the Apple card. So um, I don't know. I don't have anything against the looks. You also have the wallet app, which doubles as a budgeting tool and interest tracker, all different types of things for your credit card, for your spending. Um, and this is definitely a good thing. If you like to track your interest and know how much you're spending, it really helps you out in the long run, but you shouldn't have to pay interest on any credit card. You should be paying it off every month. So um, I'll get into my issues with that later. Another thing that they offer is daily cash. They offer 1% when you use the card, 2% when you uh, use Apple Pay, and then 3% when you buy at an Apple store, which you're gonna have to use Apple Pay as well. Um, so that's, that's definitely good to have daily cash. It's not something where you get every single month where it's like a statement, you get it, you get it every single day. So whatever you spend during that day, um, you're getting the cash back for that day. Um, so that's definitely a good thing. You'll get it the next day and, and you'll have your money in your pocket. Another thing that they have is no fees. They advertise this, that they have absolutely no fees. Um, so, I mean, I've never seen a card that ab has absolutely no fees, but this card claims it does. So I'm going to go with that. That's a, obviously a positive. So you also have easy to apply for the card and easy to link the card 
to the app. And I've seen videos on this. I've only seen one unboxing video so far. Um, it's from one of the tech gurus. Um, and he has the card and showed how easy it is to link it. That's definitely very simple. If you want to check that video out, um, I'll have that somewhere. And then you also have no 16 digit number on the card. So it's a blank card. You can't really use it anywhere that doesn't take like Apple pay. If you wanted to use it online, it's like embedded in it. So I really don't know how that works. If you want to comment down below and let me know how that works. My thought is that you cannot use it online on online purchases. You cannot use it by um, linking to any of your bills. So you can't get any type of daily cash there. So um, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like a valuable thing. So that's the card. What do I think of the card? I think that it's a decent card, but it's a status symbol. Um, it's nothing that you can use from what I understand now. You can't use it on your daily bills. Um, you can't use it where you really want to online. You can only use it to where you can swipe the card in the store, use Apple Pay, buy at Apple stores. That's the only way that you can really use it. And it's, it's not something that I really think is a benefit to anybody's wallet unless they just wanted to show people, hey, I have the Apple card. Uh, just like people say, hey, I have the iPhone or I have the new iPhone. But if I was able to get it, I would get it just because I would be able to unbox it and show you and give you all the different details on how to use it. So um, that's something that I would want to show you if you are interested in the Apple card. So let's get into why Apple lied. Um, and I know you're probably thinking, I really want to know exactly how did they lie. Um, and especially as an Apple user, you're probably judging me right now. Like, oh, you're a Samsung user. You can't say anything. Um, but I kind of tell it as it is and I see it how I see it. Um, so you can judge me if you want, but Apple definitely lied to you. They made it seem like they were, you know, targeting everybody that, you know, Samsung users, Apple users, every single person, but they didn't specifically come out and say it's only for, you know, Apple users. There's not going to be a version for Samsung at all because it's a credit card. You would think that people would be able to use the credit card. Why would you limit or cut your, the amount of users in half and say that these people are only allowed to get the credit card when you know you can get more money if you made it for everyone. So I, I don't see the point in that. But the reason that they wanted to do that was because they wanted to bring Samsung users over to Apple. So they wanted to drum up interest, but they basically told them, hey, you know, you can't get it unless you have this app. And that means you have to have an iPhone or iPad or, you know, Apple products. So this is something that a lot of people don't look at. So they didn't care about actually getting everybody um, on the card. They didn't care about the card itself. They care about getting people over to here. So they want to find a gimmick that would help them, you know, drum up interest and bring Samsung users over. Um, I just seen an article. I seen a couple articles talking about how a lot of Apple users are jumping ship and moving to Samsung and other products, and that's something that could scare a company if they're moving over because nothing really has changed with the iPhone. And I'm not, I'm not talking out of my, out of my ass here. Um, nothing really has changed with the iPhone. Um, that's like a dramatic change. And a lot of people want to go to something that's brand new. So they're basically doing this as a gimmick to get people back to Apple or keep people in Apple. So if you have Apple products, then and you get a credit card, it's you're going to be more likely to stay because you have the Apple card and you want to use that for your daily spending, for your daily cash, and you're used to it. So in order to keep you there, they're going to give you this Apple card. And I know it's very interesting to have it, but they're lying to you. It's not something that's going to benefit your life at all. Because one, you could find other credit cards that give you more than 1% cash back on all of your purchases, every single little thing. Um, whether it's your, you know, mortgage, you could find a way to do that. Um, if it's your electric, you find a way to do that. This, this is the thing. Like, it's not going to benefit you. But um, would I say that you shouldn't get it? I mean, I'm not going to say that. You can get whatever you want. But um, I don't think that you're going to find a lot of value out of this card. It's a status symbol and that's it. You're going to pull it out of your wallet, drop it a couple of times because it makes noise and go from there. What they also didn't tell you is their marketing strategy is more towards lower income individuals. And the reason why this is, is because a lot of those people uh, will pay interest. And if you find a way to like 
leave a balance in your credit card, um, pay interest, pay a lot of interest everywhere as a whole, whether it's personal loans, student loans, credit cards, all this stuff, they're going to find a way to market towards you um, just because you're going to be paying interest and they're going to gain more money from it. So a lot of people in the credit card community, a lot of people who know credit cards really understand that they're never going to pay interest and they don't want to. And if they ever have a balance left over, it's on a zero AP, APR card. Um, but that's not the case with everybody. A lot of people see it and they go, oh, Apple, Apple is offering a credit card. They're, they make less than $30,000 a year and make less than $20,000 a year. And they're like, oh, you know what? I want this Apple card, even though I shouldn't probably get it. Um, and I have the iPhone. So, you know, I wanted to link those up and make sure I'm an Apple person and all this stuff. And you're going to end up leaving a balance on that card, pay interest. And this is the reason why they have the interest tracker. Because they're marketing towards lower income individuals. And if you don't believe me, why would anybody have an interest tracker? I understand you want to know how much you could pay less in interest. But if you actually wanted to know that, you could do the calculation yourself. It's not that difficult. So this is truly what concerns me. And I feel like Apple lied because they're just hiding things in the background. They're saying things, but then they're also saying things under the breath. Kind of like that. So um, that's my feeling on it. I don't think that it's a truly horrible credit card. It's obviously a status symbol. It's like anybody that buys a hat or buys a watch. Um, it's just like that, but it's nothing more than that. If you really wanted value out of a credit card, you can go for the Chase Sapphire Reserve. You can go for the City Double Cashback, the Wells Fargo Propel card. You can go for the Gold card. You can go for so many different things that will benefit you more than the Apple card. So, um, I feel like it's a good card, um, but it's not going to be a true benefit to your financial success if that's what you wanted to hear. So hopefully you do like this video. If you do, hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And remember that I'm doing a giveaway. Every single week I'm going to be giving away two Amazon gift cards. So all you have to do is during the week, the week of that giveaway, make sure you comment on as many videos as possible, like on as many videos as you can, um, and then also be subscribed to my channel. The more that you like and comment, the better your chances. So go ahead and do all that and um, hopefully you win. Uh, but I'm going to have to get out of here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.